This video is titled, What Men and Women Don't Know About Marriage and the Point of No Return. I'm Larry Bellata and I live 27 years in a marriage made in hell, but in the 28th year, I fell in love with my wife. And we're continually married 35 years now and closer than ever. And in those 27 years, I learned something that virtually no one knows about marriage. And with over 1,500,000 marriages falling into divorce every year, you're going to want to watch this video so that your marriage doesn't become just another statistic. And if you're a wife struggling to get your husband's attention about your feelings, this is the video to watch now. And if you're a man viewing this, pay close attention because you can lose your wife without any warning. And here's how it happens. There are five steps every spouse travels before they reach the point when it's too late to save the marriage. From content to confused, from confused to struggling, then miserable, and finally, the point of no return bog. There's no mystery about it. It may take your marriage three, seven, 27 years, but if you remain ignorant, divorce is very likely to happen to you. The key to stopping this downward spiral lies in discovering how your spouse wants to be treated but can't express. This is what couples learn in Marriage 101. This one hour phone-based program will bring the two of you closer in a way that is positive, upbeat, and most importantly, you'll keep your marriage out of the point of no return. Let's see how the downward slide of a marriage begins. Your marriage starts, as all marriages do, with hope and contentment. And when you're first married, it's great, and no couple wants to think it won't last forever. And sure, you might have arguments, but they don't last long. And you both seem to be more in love afterwards because you forgive and you forget. Now, since men and women rarely take courses on marriage, they usually see things start going wrong. There's money and job troubles, children get sick, daycare situation for two working parents, older parents need care, somebody in the marriage starts demanding their space, suddenly one of you falls to the confused level. Now because women file over 80% of the divorces, this example is showing what a woman goes through when she falls to the point of no return. So on the confused level, a wife starts doing things to get her husband's attention because she has service needs, like helping out around the house, and emotional needs like thoughtfulness and consideration. Well, husbands don't know much about their wives' emotional needs and don't show much of an interest in learning about them either. Husbands can't understand what the problem is and they put up different kinds of resistance. Many husbands simply shut down or won't talk, thinking their wives are just creating conflict. It's on the confused level that wives go looking for friends and other forms of relief. She begins another effort to get her husband to understand what she really wants, but she doesn't get what she expects. The pressure is just too much and she falls another level. Now on the struggling level, there's good days and bad days for both. This is where they silently agree to stop talking about touchy subjects that explode in conflict. On the struggling level, the couple has to communicate around issues as if they didn't exist. But of course they do. The distance is starting to grow. And on the struggling level, friends and relatives might even suggest marriage counseling. And depending on her beliefs, the wife might even urge her husband to take that step. But if he resists, or those sessions go poorly, she could drop to the miserable level. On this level, there are no good days for one spouse, the wife in this case. Everywhere she looks, everybody's telling her that she needs to find her own happiness. And on the miserable level, a wife can easily see her husband's insensitive ways barricading her opportunity to be happy. So the resentment keeps building in her. But when her husband sees it, he thinks that by ignoring it, the situation's gonna work itself out. There's nothing he needs to do. If the wife in our illustration saw her parents' divorce in her childhood, she's going to believe that divorce is a good solution to a problem she can't solve. But it turns out divorce is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. With no relief, no hope, and no success in her relationship that has by this time turned the couple into roommates or worse, she falls into the point of no return bog. Arriving here, she announces she wants to do something illegal to end the marriage, and suddenly her husband jumps into panic mode. Once in that panic, he has no idea what he's doing, but he starts doing something. He searches the internet for advice on what to do. He has no clue his wife has been falling down these distinct levels. In his frantic state, he attempts dramatically caring behavior, but in the bog, his wife sees it as temporary and fake, and that's because his effort is driven by desperation more than love. What a husband doesn't realize is that his wife is in the point of no return bog. It's a dark and foggy place, and a thousand yards across the bog is the bright light of hope that divorce will bring his wife. In the bog, a wife sees her children 
is resilient kids who will just be fine after the divorce. She imagines that life after divorce will be filled with happy times, happy children, financial security, and everything will work out just fine. It's her new hope. In spite of this vision, it's complicated because the moment she arrives in the point of no return bog, her feelings for her husband are not completely dead. Now this tears at most women. If we look inside her, we'll see she's really two entities. On the right side, she's still a caring, loving, forgiving, intelligent human being who wants a happy family, husband included. But when we look on the left side, for some women who endured traumatic childhoods, we see the chaos engine that is now throwing her into turmoil. And when this chaos engine takes over, she's cruel and defensive, blaming and inconsistent. One day she feels guilty, another day she blames him for everything. She stays out till four in the morning or takes off on personal vacations, spends money on whatever makes her happy. In the bog, she leaves most family duties to her husband to do while she pursues the unrestricted life. This chaos engine has a life of its own and leads husbands to say, this is not the girl I married. It's the engine that promises her the bright future if she can just get to the other side of the bog where the divorce will be final. In order for the trip to be completed, her chaos engine needs power. The engine gets that power by connecting to the chaos engine in, of all places, her husband. He is also feeling the tension of the engine and he can't turn his own engine off. And the more her engine of chaos runs, the more his runs. They actually power each other and working together, they create massive tension and drive the wife across the point of no return bog to reach the snap line. It's called the snap line because this is the place on the bog where something just snaps. And once this line is hit, she will feel nothing for her husband. After the snap line, she'll see him as a cold stranger. Once she hits the snap line, nothing can turn her feelings around. She's emotionally dead, and at worst her husband is the enemy, at best he's just the children's father, but nothing more to her. Our example is a woman spiraling down towards a divorce, but husbands can travel the same path as well. By now, it should be clear that divorces do not just happen, because there is a clear set of steps that all spouses follow on their way to divorce. There are no surprises here. I hope you're watching this video before your spouse hits that snap line, because there is still something you can do to prevent that from happening. If your marriage is at the confused level, I urge you to do something now, before your spouse falls down another level. It's at this point in a troubled marriage when it's easy to create a stronger, more fulfilling marriage. And you can do that through Marriage 101. If your marriage is at the struggling level, your turnaround success is almost guaranteed. Now, if you're at the miserable level, it might be slightly difficult, but not at all impossible to repair the damage that's already been done. So why do men and women wait till marriage is in the crisis mode before they get help? Well, I found over years of working with husbands and wives that they do what their fathers and mothers did when it comes to marriage. If your spouse has agreed to participate in any type of marriage improvement at this point, before you try marriage counseling or any type of intensive marriage building activity, Try Marriage 101. It's a simple, no pressure, positive, one hour program where the two of you speak with a marriage translator over the phone and you'll understand what's good about each of you. You'll finally be able to understand each other under difficult circumstances and feel validated for who you are at heart. When you understand why your spouse thinks, acts, and reacts in ways very different from you, it takes the pressure off both of you. After couples go through Marriage 101, they no longer try to change each other because they understand their unique differences are actually good and good for the marriage. You know, once you know how to encourage each other, you're going to find your encouragement actually makes each of you happier. You can learn more about Marriage 101 on this site by clicking the Take Tour button on this page to the right of the video. If you sign up for Marriage 101 and participate in the first step to a better marriage, you stand a very good chance of healing the damage from your past and finding your way back to that original connection the two of you once had. You're at a crossroads in your marriage. What you decide to do now could literally change the entire history of your family, from a dark and painful story of divorce to a happy and fulfilling life where the two of you understand each other's deepest motivations and become great parents to happy, secure, and successful kids. Don't let your own chaos engines tear your family apart if this video sounds like what you've experienced, doing nothing now will lead to a certain and predictable end. Instead, why not sign up for Marriage 101? Do it for yourself, do it for your spouse, your children, your finances, your future. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Larry Bellotta.